I wanted to ask you one more question. Have you ever had like so family members? Do you have, do you get this point where a lot of people now that they know it's it's an iconic shoe? Do you get people around everyone who knows you to get you to sign their shoe or ask you for free shoes and stuff like that? Does that even happen all the well, time? Well, some people think I'm a shoe salesman. <laughs> some people think I work in the factory and make the shoes. <laughs> right. And uh, so people come up to me and say, can you, can you make some shoes for me? And I say, well, you can buy some. Yeah. And, uh, but I've signed a lot of shoes over there. 40 million shoes sold? How many shoes do you think you've been making? Yeah, uh, they've made a few. They're making a lot of them in uh, India right now. What's the strangest story you've ever heard about uh, your shoes or, the, or anyone coming up to you? Well, you know, my mother, uh, my mother was in a clinic one time. She was 85 years old. Right. And so she was in a public clinic with a lot of 20 and 30 year olds. And so the man said, you like those Stan Smith shoes? And she said, yes, they're my son, my sons. And uh, he said, well, your son, your son must be very small. He's done, his shoe is 5'4". She said, no, they're my sons. And he said, well, what do you mean? He says, it would wear out on the toe. So she would put shoe glue because she dragged her toe. I said, Bob, you don't have to use shoe glue. You can just, I can buy you some other shoes. I can get you some other shoes. Because you've got this like happy energy. Everybody, you take everyone yeah. with you. He takes everyone with him. Very bouncy. Yeah. He, yeah. Should wear, he should be wearing the boost. The boost sole is going to be terrific. Next year, to do the prime knit with the boost sole, it's going to be so comfortable. Trampoline shoes. Yeah, come here, come here. Prime knit, boost. But we have, we have like shoes which have I've worn them, son. They're fantastic. They're great for dance rehearsals and stuff. For dancing? Yeah. You're a good dancer, aren't you? Oh, I'm terrible. I got two left feet. Oh, really? Yeah. And you sing well. I, I don't know. I'm terrible. I'm worse singer than a dancer. But what design? Well, oh, you must be a heck of a dancer. Uh, but after. I'm just lucky. We're getting concerned now, huh? You must be a great actor. You, yeah, something. you like being a bad guy or a good guy or a lover? Right now I'm playing a bad guy and let me tell you it's so good to be bad. It's You're bad. so much fun. You like being I'm, bad? I prefer playing the villain, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it comes with a lot of They have a great life. I mean, they have just like 10 minutes of a bad trip. They have all the fun. Yeah, they do. So you can do anything you want because you're a bad guy. And the nice guys finish last. Would you have look like humble? Would your shoes look like villain shoes if you had to design some stuff? Would they have like secret pockets and stuff like that? Yeah. I'm curious to know. No, just, I'm genuinely curious to know. These are very shoe. good ideas, I guess you should. I mean, there's somebody, shoe designers taking notes from you right now. No, <laughs> listen, you're, I, I'm sitting on a part of a garden. Like nobody's interested in anything. I say someone's going to come water me in about four minutes and I'll be taken back, you know, to my little corner. But okay, you're not helping me with telling me what your shoe's gonna be. This I told you it'll be a riot of colors called okay. Okay, all right. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Now also I got my bhals. Yeah, yeah. But would you never have like you should just change it all and have bah, a black and white. What do you think of this name? Balta. Balta. Ek number. Ek number. Daisy loves it. What's it called? Call it? It's called Balta. Balta? Like a mix how of it all. How do I articulate to stand what is the meaning of Balta? I feel like it will be like a mix of a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. That, it will be a show it'll but it will also be like a motivational talking maxim show. Maximalist essence uh, in the right. design. I like that. Yeah. It will be like a Swiss yeah. army knife of shoes. Yeah. You just have everything. You know. I like to see Pressure those. Pressure tea, chill, whatever. Walk I like to shoes. see those. Right. So I feel that we must move on to another question. We'll be discussing the shoe non-stop. But Ranveer, you're sporting Stan Smiths in your upcoming film, Bay Uh It's also on the poster. I wanted to know what's the story behind that. How much do you love them? I love the Stan Smiths. I'm wearing them in the movie. Um, so my director, Mr. Ditya Chopra, he wanted to uh, create the definitive, uh, here it is, there you definitive uh, young romance. Wow. Uh, you know, he made a film, his first film, uh, in his early 20s, sir, went on to become one of the most iconic films of Hindi cinema. It was the definitive romance then. He said, I want to make the definitive romance of 2016, of this generation. Wow. And, uh, and so you wear the most iconic shoe of this generation. It's only appropriate, don't you think, Silas? Wow. Yeah, man. That shoe looks great. And the designer had it uh, pre-decided. She did all her research. She was like, uh, there was no question. I was like, hmm, I wonder what, 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 the, what shoes. It's going to be Stan Smith's darling, there's no question about it. Really? Wow. That looks like a tough job you've got there. Oh my god, yeah. It's so Very laborious. It's so difficult, huh? It's so laborious. You have to concentrate? Yes, I'm being exploited, sir. What do you tell you? <laughs> Bollywood producers. Very difficult. 
Yeah, everybody wants to be in that position, but it's a tricky job. It's a tricky job. Someone's got to do it, I guess. Yeah, got to do it. Coming back to the shoes, I wanted to ask you, uh, what evolution have you witnessed since probably the beginning of the shoe to now in terms of its design or the physical attributes? And what inputs did you have towards uh, from the original design to now? Did you have a lot of inputs of things you want to change? You know, the shoe looked very much like this in 1965 before my name was on it. Yes. The only change was something in the back here to help protect the Achilles tendon. Right. A little bit higher in the back. And then this little loop here to keep the tongue from moving around. Other than that, it's the exact same shoe. I didn't wow. do anything with that. So we've actually got a piece of the classic with us. But I'm, I'm, there, yeah. but I'm curious that there is no moustache in, the, uh, yeah. in your photograph here. But you've yeah. spotted a moustache pretty much your entire Well, time. I had a moustache from about age 23 until now. Except for about six months. <laughs> that's when I took the photograph. Right, right. So that's me without a mustache. But there was, uh, there was. A you have no mustache pictures. I, I love mustache. Uh, no, I gotta work on mine going up like this. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. the yeah. The favorite part of it. Is that for the villain? This is uh, the or the I lover. Turn, I turn it down for the villain. Turn it down for the villain. I, I turn it up for the ladies. Turn it up for the ladies and down for the yeah, wings. Yeah. Yeah. Up, down. I have, on the I have to work on my muscles. <laughs> yes. You have to hold it up when you feel an extra flat. Yeah? Okay. But there was an interesting story about the fact that there was a, another gentleman's name at the, uh, and your face on the shoe for a, yeah. for a long yeah. period of time. Right? Robert Hayes name was on the shoe from the beginning. Correct. He helped design the shoe. And then uh, they wanted to get in the US market a little stronger and uh, looking for an American player, and I was the best player in the world at the time. So they said, uh, would you be interested to be on the shoe? And so I wore the shoe for a while. I got my picture on the shoe and his name. Right. And they moved around a little bit. And then finally, they took his name off the shoe, and he wasn't too happy about it. Endorsed by Stan Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is it. Yeah. But have you ever met him after? Did you meet oh, him? Oh yeah, I, I got to know him. We had a big party. They sold 22 million pairs. Right. We had a big party in Paris, and he was there. They gave everybody a call when his father passed away because he knew that it was a special relationship. Correct. Absolutely. But when you see people on the street rocking a pair of Stan Smiths, how do you feel? Is it still super exciting for you? Or have you just gotten very used to it now over the years? Well, I've gotten used to it, but it's still fun, you know, because I, I was at a uh, Adidas store the other day, and this 13-year-old girl was wearing my shoe, she said, everybody in my class has to wear your shoe. <laughs> and I asked her if she'd seen me play. Right. And what did she say? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then there... I can't tell you I'll be judged for it. No, no. We, we, this, uh, this girl in the front, she's already judging me. She but knows she's it's judging a ridiculous you for the line number. Nobody should own that many she's pairs of shoes. Or that many pairs of Stan Smith. What do you do? They're so beautiful, you can't have enough. Yeah, you can't I will not reveal this number no matter how many times you ask. I'm very fearful of being judged at this moment. But give us like a clue. More than a hundred, start guessing. Two hundred. I, you know what? Let's not, let's not get into it, Cyrus. It's ready. You, how many relatives have asked you for free shoes? Now that you're the brand ambassador for Hell Ass Originals. Everyone asks me for free Everybody, shoes. Everybody, yeah. Now, <laughs> you, is red your favorite oh, my, color? My, my, my friends are like, oh, bro, uh, when are you making a trip to Lincoln Road? Uh, <laughs> is red your favorite color? But it, is red, red your favorite Red color? is my color. That's your color. It's the color of danger. My danger. Little name. Ah. Danger. Okay. Wow. One, one last Thanks, question. Sir. How many have you given away to friends? I'm a Sindhi bro. Yeah, that's... Uh, come on, man. Now you really think? You sell not, like none. You sell them, right? I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I hoard. <laughs> How many do you own, sir? I own a few. I own probably uh, 40 or 50 or so. Okay. okay. See, that's a but number. Not too many. Yeah. I, I, I did a thing for a collect in Paris and I signed shoes and... It, this guy had the shoes and he said I, they only had a hundred, so he reserved one of the pairs. Right. He got it, I signed the shoe, I said, uh, he said to me, it's not even my size. I said, well, why did you get it? He says, I collect shoes. Right. I said, how many pairs of shoes do you have? He said, 5,000. Are you... And I said, how many of my shoes do you have? He says, 50 or 60. My so God. he's a shoe freak, you know, yeah. one of these uh, sneaker heads. Yeah. Sneaker and, heads. Uh, sneaker heads, and these guys are crazy. Right. They're crazy. Just finding, collecting, they just, barter. They, just, they hold. They hold. Yeah. There you go. They're hoarders. He's yeah. like him. He's a there hoarder. There you go. He's, uh, under various other names, is a very big sneakerhead in the sneaker to rock and one to stop. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, Ranveer, any question you have for Stan at this point in time that you'd like to ask? Stan, you like to dance? Uh, I, I like to dance, but I'm not very good. We should play some song and uh, bust out some Bollywood moves in the spirit of being in Mumbai. Is there a special dance for Mumbai? You could make one up. We could make one up. You know, Bollywood, don't they dance in Bollywood? Yeah, that's the greatness about Bollywood dance. You can do anything and it's a step. Yeah. yeah. It's a step. That's it. That's, that's, a, that's a legendary it's step. iconic. That's an entire song. So I'll give the lyrics to these moves, huh? What do you say? Yeah. Do it, do it, Stan. Do it, Stan. Do it, Stan. I am Stan Smith. I am in Chennai. I was in Mumbai. 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 Bro, that was amazing. Got it. That was legendary. Give them a round of applause, guys. Wow. We're sold out on the singles at this point in time. We've got a gift after we wrote this. Stan, I think you have a gift for Ranveen at this point in time, which is an autographed Stan Smith shoe, my friend. Yeah. Which you can give yeah. back and give to me yes. because you've got enough and I'll, you know. Yes. All there right. they have them. Wow. Hi, Anika. All right. Hey. All oh. right. Fantastic. There you have it. Woohoo! Guys, give them a round of applause. This is an exciting moment. You are sorted, my friend. This is massive. This is awesome. Look at him. Guys, there you have them. Autographed by the legend himself. This is so much fun. <laughs> Proud moment. Thank you so much, sir. And from the man himself right there with you, man. This one's a keeper. Yeah, but at any point you feel like just handing it over to me. It was in a glass box. Because, yeah, exactly. What size are you? I am uh, 11. Same size. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's it's a destiny taller. just. Yeah. Sorry, a little bit smaller. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll change my feet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you both so much. Thank, thank you for this wonderful chat. And guys, give them a huge round of applause. Two wonderful, wonderful people. Thank you for being here, sir. I hope you have a wonderful time in India. Thank you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Ranveer. Great to see you. Shoo, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. And at this point in time, uh, in just a few minutes, we've got two incredible performances.